go. Back off. Yep. Yeah, it's it, it starts out a little tough, but then once you really get the dimple going, it uh kind of eases up on you a little bit. Um, you know, you, you can mess around if you wanted to do different sizes. You know, we're we're going with half inch because I mean that's just really really all you need and that's the way most of the fittings come come fairly standard. You can see there we got a little bit of a, a dimple. Uh, doesn't need to be ridiculous. And then we're gonna we're gonna take our 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 coupling that we've sanded down. We're gonna um, take and sand the inside of this really good. Um, get it all um, cranked out nice and sanded so that, that that solder has something really good to adhere to. Um, we're going to put some flux on here and then uh, we'll rock and roll. Again, what we're going to do, um, where where previously we had this and this slid on in place, we're kind of done with that. This is our flux coupling. This will go on, then our washer and our nut, and we'll pull this down into place. It'll come right through the metal, form a really tight seal. You want to leave a little lip um, on the inside, so as the solder melts. Um, it'll have like a little void to kind of to sit in. So here we go. Um, and again, we're going to use another coupling as a spacer just because you can see this is like totally train wrecked here. And then once you, you've done that, you're going to follow the, the same procedure. You know, crank down those vice grips or box wrench or whatever, and then crank away. And again, starts the same way, a little hard, but then once the coupling, that lip passes, loosens up a little bit. You keep an eyeball on the inside so you know about where you want your, your depth. Now before we back this off, I'm just going to show you inside again what that's looking like. You can see this is our spacer here. This is our fitting. You know, it looks like we got about a half inch there. Probably I'm probably going to crank away a little bit more. Maybe get it down to like a quarter or, or an eighth and then we'll we'll call that good and then we'll fire it up and see if we can solder it. Again, the, the ones at the top of the kegs are super easy. Um, probably get away doing this by myself, uh, or you can get away doing it yourself. Um, it's just easier with the extra set of hands. And then uh, you can see that there. Nice little dimple comes out, and it's just, it's purdy. Um, it works. This would probably hold water itself. Um, but we'll go the extra step. We'll put a a bead of, of that uh, the, uh, silver solder and we'll be good. What we like to do, we'll, we're going to flux the inside as well. Um, 
But what we like to do is we're going to take and we'll make a quick ring. Out of the solder. And you want like just a little overlap there. Just so you don't have any gaps. Just a little nip. Now this is probably the hardest part of the whole thing. Um, you're gonna, we're gonna lay this down, and you want to try to get this as level as possible. So you're gonna, you can put, you snap that in there, just like that. Snap it right around there, and then you're gonna fire up the uh, the coupling from the other side. Again, the one thing we didn't show you here is we got a torch. Yeah, the butane that we use, make sure that you get the yellow can because it gets the hottest. The blue can doesn't quite get as hot and won't melt the solder as well. And, of course, we got something to strike it up with. And here we go. Make sure you can get it to strike. And not blow up the whole place. Eighteenth tries the charm. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to want to do is when we go to heat this up, we're going to go from up underneath. All right, so here's our coupling, and you don't want to you don't want to heat it right on the keg. You want to actually heat up the coupling. And you kind of want to try to get an even dispersive heat, and this will take oh. Maybe a minute, maybe two, to heat up. And once it heats up, the solder should hopefully flow evenly. So you're going to have a lot of smoke. Um, maybe that flux is going to, you know, burn, start to burn off. You can see it's, uh, it's bubbling down in there pretty good. Yeah, and there it goes. It's starting to starting to melt. And you just want to let it. You just want to let it keep going. And we're just about there. And it looks like the whole thing is now melted. Once it melts, you're done. Yep, you just let it sit. It's going to take probably a good 10 minutes for this to cool off. You don't want to put any, any water onto this directly. It'll mess the, mess the solder up and you won't get a, a good, even um, flow and connection, essentially. Next thing you do is you just test it with water. That's it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.